Hey guys, and today I'm going to be showing you the very early stages of an app that I've started working on a few days ago called MCPE Mod Repair Tool. So whether that name is going to be final or not, I'm not sure. Uh, the reason I, you know, I don't think it's going to be final is because people could be confused by what this app is doing. So with that name, people might be thinking it's taking a mod file, like a mod script or something, and repairing it. But what it's actually doing is taking tools used to mod Pocket Edition and fixing crashing on the crashes with those apps. So, you can see here the four apps that I have listed are Minecraft Pocket Edition, MCPE Mod Locator, Block Launcher Pro, and Block Launcher Free. So, when you click one of these, it's going to take you through a few different steps that will help you try to figure out what the crashes are. And actually, instead of you having to find out, it'll just do it automatically. And hopefully, by one of these steps, it will fix crashing. So, with, with each step, you know. It's doing you know a little more each time, so you can see how it lists here. It says clears cache and unused data, no user data removed. Um, uh, clears most app data and files, user data could be lost. And then the last one, complete app reinstall, all user data removed. So with Pocket Edition, I have it set up so you can back up and restore your worlds, which I will demonstrate here in a second. So what I want what I want to know really quick is what you think of the name and what you think I should name it. You know, if I should keep it the same. Uh, I do want to keep MCPE mod in there because MCPE and the word mod definitely go together and get searched a lot. So when I have those two words or phrases, whatever abbreviations, whatever you want to call, uh, that you know would grab more people's attention and get more downloads. And I think an app like this should get more downloads because especially with Block Launcher, people do get a lot of crashes. MCP Mod Locator and Pocket Edition don't usually have a whole lot of you know random crashes and stuff. But what could happen is you're using MCP Mod Locator for the first time and the first download process fails. Uh-oh, what happens? And it starts crashing and having issues. Or you install a world through MCP Mod Locator that screws up Minecraft somehow if it's a corrupted world or something like that and starts crashing MCP Mod Locator. This app actually aims to fix those kind of issues with any of these apps, uh, especially Block Launcher, because people do have a lot of crashes with Block Launcher that could be easily fixed just by hitting a button in this app. And I haven't set those up yet. But uh, yeah. So that's what the point of this app is, and I want to know what you think of this whole idea. If you think it's something you would use, if you have a lot of crashes, or if you think you know it's you know to, you know if it's not a whole big deal or anything, you know if the crashes aren't all that severe for you, if you know it's just a rare thing or what. I just want to know what you think. Do you think this is a useful tool? But I'm going to demonstrate it for you guys because that's what I like to do. So you click step one, and it says step one finished. Launch MCPE now. I'll probably add a little bit more to that message. Because it looks kind of boring right there. It doesn't look like there's a whole lot to it. But you hit yes and MCPE will open. And if it crashes, then you move on to step two. If it doesn't crash, then step one worked. So then you click step two. And step two finishes. Do you want to launch MCPE now? Yes. And if it didn't work, then you have to go to the most extreme one, which is uh, installing the app again and removing all your worlds and everything. So that's why I added the backup and restore worlds. So I'm going to demonstrate that really quick. So all of the worlds get put into this folder right here, MCP repair tool. So you back them up and it copies them over there from here. So I'm going to go in here really quick, games, comment mojang, I have a world, or no, I have a folder called folder, and that's empty. So you hit backup, and now everything has been backupped to, let's see here, MCP repair tool, you can see I got my folder called folder, and that empty one. So let's go to step three. That pop-up is supposed to happen after this pop-up because it says, do you want to uninstall this app? You hit yes. Then the Play Store thing should come up so you can install it through the Play Store again. And all of your worlds are removed. So if I go under games, you can see com.mojang, that folder is all gone. And all I have to do to make them come back is hit restore. Go back in here, refresh. Com.mojang is back. You can see all of that stuff. So all your worlds will be safe in there just by hitting backup. And before you even do step one, you should back up your worlds before doing anything because I don't want you guys to lose your worlds. I know a lot of you 
have you know worlds that you really like and i remember one time i was using like pocket tool or something and that screwed up and got rid of the first world i ever made that had a lot of stuff on and i was pretty mad about it so back up your worlds before doing anything because like i said i don't want you guys losing your worlds and stuff so that's the one for pocket edition right there i might separate the app reinstall and the world remove thing because i don't know if i need to do those all at the same time or what but yeah then with MCP mod locator, you hit step one, and currently it crashes because, like I said, this is very early stages. Let's see if step two works. Huh, step two worked. Let's see what that did. Uh, nothing. Yeah, early stages, you know. So, yeah, I wonder what you guys think, like I asked before. Do you think this is an app that you would use, or do you think it's kind of a worthless app? And also, if you think it is a good app, what do you think I should call it? So leave your comments down below. I want to read through a lot of comments and I'll probably reply to a few and get some cool conversations going and whatnot. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.